Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Glad y'all are here. Sorry for this weird setup, but um, it is what it is. I've been working a lot, and I'm trying new setups, but we're going to go ahead and record anyway. Today, we are going to go over and talk about Dehancer Pro for DaVinci Resolve 19. We'll be right back. Like I said in the intro, we're going to review Dehancer Pro for DaVinci Resolve 19. Just to get this out of the way, Dehancer did send me this program to try out and give my thoughts and a review on it. They have no say-so whatsoever about what I say or any kind of approval. So now that we've talked about that, let's get into it. Okay, this is a very robust program, and what it's for is if you want to make your footage look like film act like film however you want to call it this is the program for it there are other ones out there so i'm not going to name them I'm not going to worry about them today we're talking about this program at this program only so what is this program about just like i said it helps you to change the look of your film but for me when i'm going when i've been going through for the past month playing with this program i actually put my node at the end and then I'll add the Dehancer plugin to it and do my adjustments there for Dehancer after I've already made a few slight adjustments with that. So some of the settings to go over, I'm not going to go over a single one of them and make them sound like a robot because it's just too crazy. I had a script typed up. I'm not good at scripts. So the main thing is, is once you get the program going, you're going to select your camera brand the camera and what log profile you're shooting and whether it's Fuji, Canon, Panasonic, Nikon, whatever, Blackmagic, I, I, I don't know. So after that, you've got several settings and the ones that I use the most obviously are going to be what film stock I'm going to use, which mainly I stuck to Kodak Portra 160 and 50D. And maybe a 250D as well. So, <clears throat> excuse me. But that's either here or there. It depends on what look that you want and how that you want it to look as your final product. Now, keep in mind, like I said, this is a robust program. And a, a little goes a long way. So, you know, make small adjustments while you're doing this. Don't overdo it because you could break the image, but obviously you can reset it. But the only way you're going to be able to do this is you've got to experiment and try and see what you like. Now, you have your film grain, your film grain to choose from. You have film compression, your expand, uh, your gate weave, film breadth, and everything else. You have a lot of these settings and. If you really want to see what they all do, best thing to do for the technical terms is go to their website, read their blog. They're going, it's going to tell you what all these terms are, but you have to enable them in order to use them. Make sure if you're going to use it, enable it. Once you enable it, you'll be able to adjust your settings, get the look you want, get it dialed in. And that's a great thing. Now, the key thing that I love about this is that when you're done, got everything, got it the way you want, you can actually generate a LUT for it and have it exported. And then you can physically apply it to the rest of your clips to make your edits a lot easier. Or if you just want to apply different ones for different scenes, however you want to do it, you can do that. That's a huge thing these days because it just, I mean, a lot of us now, we're a, a one-man band, one-female band show, whatever you want to call it. A lot of us are doing our own stuff. We're not sending it out to editors. We want to be able to do it ourselves. That way, we get better at it. Practice makes perfect was what they say. So, I mean, I've gotten better at my editing. I finally found a style that I like, but I might change it from time to time. Who knows? And, oh, there was one more one more thing I did want to add. You also have film damage and gate weave, which 
I'm not a big fan of the film damage because, I mean, it's, to me, these days, it's just a little bit overdone. So, take it for what it's worth. Check this program out. I mean, I've had fun playing with it for the past month. You'll see it in the clips and down on there on the clips with the before and after, you know, in the after, you'll see exactly what I use because I put it in there for the information for y'all to watch. So I hope y'all enjoy. Let's take a look at the clips. We'll be right back. Hope you enjoyed those. I know I did. I had fun filming them, clipping them, editing them, and everything else. It was it was fun for me. I hope it was fun for you. So, the only thing I really have left to talk about is the one downside that I only have to this program. Everything else, I like. Now, is now it's the price. It comes in at the pro price of four forty nine. Four forty nine is a bit expensive, but I do understand all the research, the man hours, and everything else that goes into this to be able to keep constantly updating, adding more features to it. So I understand why it costs a hundred and fifty more than Final Cut or DaVinci. So it, that's just what they want to charge. And, you know, we can't tell them here nor there. This is why they ask us to review this. They want users' inputs. And that's why they don't put any restrictions on what we're allowed to say because it's only going to make them better and do better and create a better product for the end user. Now, DaVinci, if you see this and when you do see this, I have one word or one thing to tell you. Please do not go to a subscription. No one is liking subscriptions because they're getting too costly these days for everybody. I mean, look at the other company that has been mentioned. I'm not going to mention their name, but do not go to a subscription, please. I think a lot of people will agree with that. Don't. So, what else to say about this program? Um, like I said, it's robust. It's fun. And if you're in it and you want a film look, definitely, definitely get this program because it will give you the look that you want and to be able to create by tweaking the dehancer file and making adjustments to your original with your contrast boosts and everything else, temperatures. So play with it, have fun, and enjoy it. All right, so... Just so you know, Dehancer did give me a 10% code for y'all to use for my viewers, which I do. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Try this program. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. And, you know, when you do buy it, yes, I get a little bit of a kickback, which all it's going to do is it's going to help me continue making videos, keep the gear consistent, and keep it updated for y'all to see me and hear me which i'm still messing with audio that's my newest adventure now so for now i hope you all have enjoyed this um have a great day great night great week great weekend and i'll see y'all on the next one